This is about uh, the electron microscope uh, from GTEC Techno Solutions Private Limited. So here is the index. Uh, we are going to talk about the construction of electron microscope, uh, how it's working, and what are the uses of electron microscope. So electron microscope is kind of uh, a much more complicated and also useful device uh, to focus on a particular object. Here is the picture which I am trying to show you how a butterfly feather which is seen under electron microscope. You are, able, you are able to see the feather here. So this is how the magnification of electron microscope is. So you will be having a filament which will generate the rays or electron beam from which you are able to monitor the images. So we will see those things further. The electron microscope is like an optical microscope. It is an instrument principally used in the research laboratory for magnifying very small objects. Here is the electron microscope. The wave nature of moving electrons is the base for electron microscope. You are able to see the electrons moving. So the resolving power of a microscope is the least distance between the two points which can be distinguished. The resolving power of a microscope is limited by the wavelength of the radiations. In optical microscope the visible light is used to illuminate the object. And the highest magnification obtained with the best optical microscope is about 2000. Since the wavelength of X-rays are smaller than that of the visible light, X-rays cannot be focused as visible radiations are focused using lenses. On the other end, electrons having deep Broglie wavelength of the order of X-rays can be focused easily using the electric and magnetic fields. And one can build a high resolving power microscope using electrons. 